was 33 years old. Unbelievable. That's when you went And back. I went to a Lag Boma parade. And I just wanted to take my nieces and my, my parents because I wanted to see my, my, I wasn't religious, far from it. And we went there. And someone taps me on my shoulder. I turn around. It's like this kid with a little fuzz on his face, maybe 17. He says, did you put on tefillin today? <laughs> I said, I know, I'm Pesach, eat matzahs. I'm pouring you drink vodka. Right. I said, what is today's tefillin day? <laughs> I said, no, I said, realized that the guy was like, you know, he didn't want to get in trouble. So I, so I said, okay. And my parents were watching, everyone said, let's do it. So I put on tefillin, and from that minute, it took, le- from Lag Boma to Labor Day, I had a non a non kosher, not Shoma Shabbos restaurant. From that minute to Labor Day, my whole life turned around at the age of thirty three. What happened? I made my restaurant kosher. I know but what happened if, what happened when you put I on put on film? I don't I have no idea. How can it change you like that? I, you know what radiation does? We should never know from it. Radiation does bad things too. Yeah, this is the good part of radiation. So what happened? You got like electrocuted positively? All of a sudden, I realized <laughs> I, 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 it wasn't even a conscious thing. It was just I felt that all of a sudden, all the years I, I was looking for consciousness and spirituality yeah. in Japan and in China and in, in India and all these places, and meditating and medicating and all the kind of stuff. <laughs> and I said, well, all of a sudden, I said, well, this is home. Because I went to Yeshiva as a kid till I was 15. Yeah. And then I thought I was finished. I was bar mitzvah. And now I went to the world for 18 years. We went from the big, fat, black Futsi cat, which was a, east, a West Village hangout, to Tangier. Nice. On a, on, a, on a Yugoslavian freighter that took 11 days and it cost $200 with, with meals. And we landed in Tangier. And we you know, rented a house for twenty dollars <laughs> with a ma- live-in ma- live uh, uh, Moroccan lady, and uh, there was just smoke, and you know, days went by, and mint tea, and uh, soup, and doesn't sound bad. And then years, <laughs> then years went by. What did you get out of that lifestyle? I got out of it. So why you were doing it? <laughs> but why you were doing it? What were you getting out of I, it? I, I, I said, look. The alternative to the, the only reason it's like by choosing by, by uh, elimination. I said, the, ter- the alternative to this is uh, establishment. I went, I went, I was in college. So, so if, it, if I'm not gonna do this, I don't think I have to go to college. I'm not interested in going to college. I'm not interested in, in going into the establishment. So this is the only thing. But you did for a long time. Uh, you must have been getting I, something I, out of it. I was killing, I killed a lot of time. <laughs> and I avoided responsibilities, right. and I was laid back and chilled out, you know, right. and uh, going around, and catching the rings on the merry-go-round, and I said, wait a second, after many years, I said, wait a second, I think I've been here before. What, what are the parallels between that lifestyle and, and, and what you're doing? There's a spiritual, there's a, there's yes. some spiritual component, obviously Absolutely. you're the kind of person who, you know, is attracted to both, so tell yes. us, you know, what's I the found the difference basically is between a circle and a spiral. Okay. What is that? A circle is you keep going around. And it's like a, like a Pavlov. You go around, you come over here, you get this and come around. Like that. But a spiral is it's con- a continuous upgrading, up movement to a never ending. I mean, the realization that you're on a track that's never ending, that itself is a, a, is a sign that you're into something. Else. When you're into something like that, it's not like you found a niche and now you could medicate or meditate and you put a rag in your nose and pull it out and clean yourself that way and you know you can get see the blue light and all kinds of stuff which is all self-centered the highest level of ego is spirituality 